Okay, for my setting techniques, I'm using a heat protector and straighteners just to smooth out the hair. So when I put in the anchor points and put the back up, it will be nice and smooth. Um, I'm going to see if the roots of the hair need crimping in case it's too smooth and doesn't stay in. I'm not using any textures because most of the hair is being wrapped around a donut so it needs to stay smooth um, and it will all be up and out the way so this will just help it look neat and refined so I'm just doing that now I also plan to put a fake fringe in the front just wrapping around the face and that's also going to be straight um, so I'll curl the end to pin it into a roll as well. So now I've straightened it through, I've separated the back section. So this is the part that's going to be the anchor point and go into the bun roll. I've also left down a layer of hair as it's being rolled forward to smooth over any back combing or crimping. Yeah. So I'm just doing this on the roots to create texture because I still want the rest of the hair to be smooth as well. So this will help it stay in place for back combing. Okay, so I crimped the sections coming this way because when I back comb, I'm going to do it in rows across. So when I back home, it was just creating more layers um, and will hopefully stay in place a bit better. So this is in preparation to pin the anchor point to place. So I'm going to cut the donut ring and so it's a line and all this hair that's been crimped and back home is going to roll forward and then be pinned under with the V pins. So I'm just back putting the anchor points into the hair overlapping and then I'll do that all the way around the front and then use a straight pin across the, where they join and I'll just keep it secure and that's because it's a roll it'll only be on one side oh. okay so now I've done the back comb I cut the donut ring which looked like this in half into a C shape I put a bubble, a bubble on each side to keep it together and I rolled the model's hair around it and I brought the smooth layer over and twisted it into a curl. Even though this part's going to be covered by the basket, it just keeps it neat. So I encountered some problems with the waterfall braid. Um, as the hair is quite fine but heavy, um, any tension on the braid would make it slip. So, so I could still incorporate my crochet. I've done a Dutch braid instead so it's more secure against the head. It still gives me this edge so I can sew on. And the hair is going to be split into um, four strand flats and I will weave the crochet thread, the embroidery thread through the flats and to the top piece. So using a V pin I'm going to thread um, four colours of embroidery thread, so I have pink, yellow, orange and purple and then this is going to go through the four, four stem braids and it will come through the top and weave through the bottom as well. Okay. So I'm just demonstrating what I said previously. I wrap the end of the embroidery thread around the pin and bring it through the hair like so. I do this for every four diamonds that are in this four stem flat and then I'll repeat it throughout this one here and I'll crisscross four different colours down the flat to create this effect. Okay, so this is the finished ribboning on the back and these will be stretched out during uh, the photography. The loose hair has been brought over the back just to finish off the parting. And the fringe has been sat across one eye and has come round into a pin curl to keep the ends out of the way. So this is the postiche piece off the head. It consists of basket weave over the entire piece um, with a four stem plait around the edging for 
um, to finish off the seams and the loose bit of thread has been sewn onto the side for details as well as these are the hair balls of wool as well as the rope braid knitting needles so they will be attached now okay so here is the finished piece <clears throat> this is the embroidery on the back which has the four colors woven through the plaits so there are two colors in each section of this as well um, this will be spread out during the photography process just to see the detail much more the back has the excess of the fringe has been wrapped over that parting just to help conceal that as it looks quite um, vibrant against the black hair so that's just to help smooth that over. The bun donut has been rolled into the hair as we saw earlier in the video for support and this is what the postiche has been attached to with the large V pins. So as this has been set on the head it's been manipulated to bend into shape to sit nicely on top and it's just secured with the pins into that donut. So as you can see the fringe has also been wrapped across the face and is secure along with the postiche. The balls of wool and the needles are sat in the basket. With the needles I bent the ends to hook them into the hair underneath the balls and these also conceal that and any gaps that may be on the bottom.